Alright guys, welcome to part 3, and uh, in this tutorial we're going to be going over how to place base assets. As you see we left off, we're leaving off from the same exact point we did last. Uh, so right now we're going to be going over placing base assets, uh, building a base, putting the right vehicles in the hangars and stuff, and lining vehicles, what vehicles we'll need. So we're going to try to put, we're going to try to keep this as like a mini op. Um, set up so nothing too fancy uh base the base does not have to be fancy unless you're doing a custom base which you can um but for now we're just gonna go over vehicle placements and basic hesco barrier placement and so on so what we're gonna do is we are gonna start off by going to the single unit selection here so once you're in the single unit selection here what you're gonna do is highlight it make sure it's selected and then uh We'll do ground vehicles first here in this little lot. Actually, we'll, we'll do them. Yeah, we'll do them here. Why not? So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to double left click. And then what you're going to do is before you start placing, actually before you start placing vehicles down, what you'll notice if, if I open this menu up and I do the drop down box, you'll see there's an empty here. So keep note of this. That there's empty here, it's yellow. So now... If I change my player unit, so if I double click on this guy, you see he's player. If I set him to playable, you can see they're all purple circles around these guys. So when these guys all have purple circles, I have no player unit. No player unit at all. So if I go over here and I try to place a unit, or an empty unit, you can see that there's no empty slot. And you see that there's no game logic slot as you guys, if you guys know that game logic as well so you have to have a player unit at all times it's not going to mess up the way that me, uh, people load into the mission in multiplayer always have a player unit it will always still be playable so now when we go back over here hit the drop down box go to empty you can see that there's empty and now we have all the now everything here is empty from hesco barriers to every single vehicle that we have in our mod pack and ammo box. So you can see that there's the game logic there, but we're not going to pay attention to game logic at all. Uh, so we're going to drop down box and let's say we want to place a, uh, a Humvee. So you can see that there's pretty well organized stuff in here. If you're going to use RHS stuff, which is what we use mainly for vehicles, uh, that's going to be under its own specific class names. So you can see we have air, aircraft, con or ammo, uh, excuse me, uh, anti air, APC. Armored, artillery, uh, autonomous. You, you can see that there's a lot of stuff to choose from, even buildings um, for my JBAD buildings and stuff that I use for terrain making and stuff. So if we go up and we go to car, cars is the vanilla reference. So you see here's all the vanilla vehicles and, and other mods that go in there. So you can see that there's some RHS stuff in here, but mainly it's vanilla stuff and, and other mods. So aside from that, let's go to car, and you can see that we have all the RHS stuff in here. So this is RHS's own designation for their vehicles. So we want to place the M2 Humvee Desert. So you want to make sure that you always read these. You don't want to just place pop M, you know, Humvees down randomly. You don't want woodland Humvees in a desert environment. So USA Army Desert. So if we just highlight that and if you want, you could leave this as information or er, information. I always put none. Uh, vehicle lock, always leave it default. Info age, always leave it unknown. Uh, skill doesn't matter. All this doesn't matter. Again, if you're using a certain script that requires you to put something in the in the in it, then you're gonna need to put something in here. But for now, leave the name uh, name as well. Um, name. The only thing you're gonna have to use this name thing for is for when you're using scripts to uh, spe to specify this vehicle. Um, you could use this for respawn scripts, which we'll get into again in a later time. You don't have to worry about that right now. Uh, we got the description here. You don't really need to name it. It's not really important, so don't don't name it. Um, if you want to, you can for the description, but you don't have to. So once you're done configuring it as you please, just hit OK, and you'll see that we have a yellow silhouette of the Humvee. So. Now when we move it around, we could move it around, sync it to stuff, group it to stuff, whatever. So what we're going to do is 
are going to get a line of Humvees and, and other vehicles around here. Uh, we'll put it over here. We'll keep it over here. So, to spin it around um, like this, uh, basically you want to hold your left shift and left click on the Humvee. So hold left shift. I'm holding left shift right now. And you want to left click on the Humvee and you'll notice that you could rotate it. The closer you are, the more faster, it, the more harder it will be kind of to adjust. The more further you are, the more slighter adjustments you could make for putting it in tight spaces or even garages and stuff. So I like to align it as close as I can to the road or as much as I can to the road. So something like this since I do like to align it perfectly. So this is roughly the size of the Humvee in game, but just for purposes you don't want to have you don't want to so highlight it, copy, paste. You don't want to have the vehicles like this. You want to give them a little bit of spacing like that because some vehicles, images, and silhouettes like this do not match up to the in-game um, life size. So just for safety purposes, you want to spread them out a little bit. Uh, for the Humvees, this is a pretty good spacing here if you want to space them out a little bit more. So now what you want to do is now that you have two Humvees placed, you could just highlight both of them, Control c Control v Now we have four in the matter of seconds, so you don't have to keep on you know, double clicking, empty car, set up everything. You just copy and paste. Copy and paste is, is going to be a huge thing in mission editing to save time. So now we got two M2 Humvees. Let's say we want two or four, uh, excuse me, four M2 Humvees. Let's say, let's say we want four Mark 19 Humvees. So again, to simplify it, make it go faster, just highlight all four of these. Control C, Control V. And, and when you do con uh, copy and pasting, Note that wherever your mouse cursor is and you copy there, so if I copy up here, control C, and then control V, you can see that they're going to paste down here, but if I do this, control C on this Humvee, and control V, you'll see that it pastes wherever my cursor, wherever I did control, or copied it, and then it'll paste it wherever it was, so. Let's start changing these guys to Mark 19, so left click, drop down box, Mark 19, make sure it's Army, make sure it's Desert, and then do that. All the attributes will stay the same. Hit OK. Same with the rest. Go down. Make sure you're reading the right one. Army, Desert, Mark 19. Hit OK. And then do the same for the rest. Pretty self explanatory. Alright, so now you got your Humvee set up. So now, let's say you want armored vehicles. You get armored vehicles. You can put them like over here as a like a armored vehicle depot, but we're not gonna we're not gonna get into that too much. Um, we'll do that at a later time. So let's put the armored vehicles on this side of the road. So again, just double left click, make sure you're an empty. And for this, um, if you want to place tanks, the RHS um, class name is just called tank. So tank, not armor, it's called tank. And then you see you have all the Russian and US tanks here. So let's go to, let's get the new Tusk 2, M1A2 Tusk 2 tanks and we'll place it down. And you can see it adds in its own silhouette. Um, d depending on the creator of the mod itself, uh, some add-ons may have vanilla images, so some may not be the correct size. So just be aware of that. So because we know the turret sticks out, you want to kind of leave it back. You don't want to put it like right here because the turret will be sticking out over the road. So give it some space. So when you're ready, just Control C, Control V on however many tanks. When I always put two, two tanks, and that's it. Um, so for now, and now we'll go on to next. So again, control C, control V, and now let's say we want something else other than a tank. Uh, same exact thing, control C, control V, double left click to edit on it, and then we'll go to IFV and we'll do Bradley's this time. We'll do uh, M, uh, M2A3 Bradley. So go to IFV, we'll go, and all this is alphabetized, so you don't have to, it's not gonna be all mixed up or anything. So I'm 2A3 bus 3, that's a woodland variant, whoops, let's make sure that these are desert variants as well, kind of rushing through this, that's woodland. 
we'll, we'll just leave it woodland for now. So you can see that has silhouette as well. So control C, control V, control V, however many Bradleys or armored vehicles you want. And the, basically it's the same exact thing over and over. You want If you want helicopters, um, same exact thing, just control C, or if you want to, you just left click, you know, find your vehicle. Instead of copying pasting everything, um, let's say the helicopters you want a different, uh, you want them to be a different uh, setup, so let's go to helicopter, find the helicopter that you want, we'll find a UH, we'll get a UH-60 Desert, and then there you go, so. And if you want for for referencing, so like if there's, you know, if you want to see if there's uh, terrain in the way, just hit this uh, textures button up here, this checkered uh, button up here that will enable texture so you can see it, it adds in the texture so if I kind of cycle between the two you can tell if there's a tree line there um, even if these are so all these green things here these green polygons are those are all um, those are all trees tree lines and then little circles are bushes and uh, of course these are all buildings so and then these numbers are just uh, height height references so the airfield for example sitting at 2297 um, above sea level so and also you can see the taxiways runway taxiway uh, little taxiway here the taxiway so you could use this for accurately putting helicopters in this middle section or even over here or something so we'll do exactly that so we'll do a whole line of UH-60s Actually, we'll do two UH-60s and then we'll do, uh, to delete things like that instantly, just highlight it and then hit, or uh, even, you don't even have to highlight it, just, let's see, con control C, control V. So if you want to delete it, see I don't have anything highlighted, so I'll click around here. If I just hit the delete key above my arrow keys and I have it highlighted, so you can see when I'm around it, it will not delete, I have to actually have the name under, so, this little... For that. If you want to delete multiple objects, so let's say I have like Hueys like or excuse me, Blackhawks like this, just highlight all of them and then hit shift delete. So right shift and then delete key. It will delete all of them. To delete a single object, just hit your delete key. To delete a group of objects, highlight and then shift delete. So we'll do two CH forty sevens as well. So Chinook, so copy paste. Change these guys over to The CH-47s, do desert, and for simplicity you just place one and then copy paste the other. And then there we go, we have our helicopters here, so now we want planes, so let's start placing the planes and the jets. So we'll do that, and we'll go to aircraft, and we'll have the RHS F-22. And then if you want to make sure that this is perfectly aligned, what you can do is you could turn on the IDs. So the IDs are basically in the center of every single object, so you can see this is the center of the hangar. So you see it's a little bit crooked, so maybe we'll clip our wing on the edge or something, so make sure that it's even with the number at the angle. So if you want you just align it like this, it's easier this way, so make sure it's exactly parallel with the walls and the hangar itself. And now what you can do is you can just move it over and now you know it's perfectly aligned and then now what you can do is control C control V you can fit two A10s, two F22s in here so now let's take one to F22s we'll copy and paste them over here and let's say we want these guys to be A10s we'll change these guys to just an A10 and then to exit out the box faster so for example if you just highlight the F22 and A10 if you hit the enter key it'll instantly just press OK for you basically so let's spread these guys out and there you go so let's turn IDs off so now uh, if you want to place like HESCOs and stuff um, we just go back to empty it's under empty and let's say that we want we want HESCO barriers so there's a lot of objects to choose from lots and lots of objects and structures to choose from so let's go up here and let's go to fortification so you want to go to objects fortifications and then let's choose, let's choose HESCO, let's do H-Barrier, let's see, let's find the, 
yeah H barrier uh, big four blocks so these are the big ones and you see it's just a square and this is the basically the exact size of the HESCO barrier so if you place it right there and you do copy copy and paste and if you want to, to speed it up placing them just copy paste and then you see that they're a little bit in the line so if you highlight all of them let's get rid of that you don't have to be. so if you highlight all of them and again remember the shift and let hold left shift and click you know that I could rotate it so this way if you unalign the HESCOs or something you could perfectly align it by rotating it so just like that and then we'll put in something like a like this so you kind of want them overlapping each other um, again just go in and out of editor so you can always test your mission to make sure that objects are aligned properly such as like Humvees and stuff and vehicles so what you can do is if you go up here and go to preview it will spawn you in on the player unit it will spawn all the AI so remember that everything uh, respawnable does not work so these AI will will show up even though you have them set to disable as playable so just I'll leave that there so we're going to turn off textures real fast so we got our HESCO set up now let's say we want like a little ammo depot or something like that so let's switch these guys over here and since I am so let's do that so let's go back to here and then let's place a camo net we'll place a camo net so camo net I think I don't think the camo nets are in it. They're under objects military, so military has all the camo nets and and whatnot. So you see there's a lot of camouflage nets here, just choose the one of your liking. And we'll make it we'll actually make it we'll make it an open one. So camo net open. Mado desert. And then we'll do an ammo box here. So just like as you guys witness in operation and mini ops, you'll notice that every every box that we or main boxes that we put down are arsenal boxes. I'll show you guys how to do that in the scripting uh, tutorial. So for now, we're just gonna place in the RHS uh, weapons crate, um, the non the non uh, virtual arsenal. So let's we'll do random uh, regular weapons crate. And then don't let this box fool you, they don't have the actual model, so it's actually like a square, and it's really large. Um, so you want to place this like in the center or up to the side somewhere, and you could twist it, make it look more realistic rather than everything facing one way. So now, what we can do is we can just place all the boxes, so all the boxes that we use in operations. So if you want it to be a more realistic supply system where we don't have a virtual arsenal, you have to make sure that you place all the ammo boxes down. So let's make sure we have a weapons crate, let's make sure we have an ammo crate, we'll place that right behind there. Let's make sure that we have a medical crate, so like ace medical stuff. So ace medical, and then advanced or basic, since we use basic medical, you would place this. And then place multiple instances, um, place multiple boxes, kind of orient them to make it look more realistic. Make them face different directions. And then... Uh, you could do the ace miscellaneous items for like diffusal kits and and earplugs and stuff and again you could place multiple there's those make sure they're spaced out a little bit because if they spawn inside each other or in, a, in an object like a house or something or another object that you place uh, they will explode on impact um, and then again in another tutorial with more scripting I'll show you guys how to make uh, items not take damage and stuff um, so disable damage and all that. Uh, we'll do C tab for like fire team leads. I'll just put that back here, and we'll do like an explosive crate for. We'll do an explosives box for like sappers, for instance. So NATO. And you can place place again on multiple instances of those. And again, um, one last box. We're gonna place the T far box. Make sure it's a NATO version. We'll place that outside here. Oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. Alright, so 
There we go, we have our ammo crate, we have our weapons crate, our ammo crates, our explosives crates, our com uh, c tab computer uh, stuff, our Ace miscellaneous for earplugs, and our Ace medical supplies. Um, you can place more, so if you want, you can place another camera net like this, and then you place more over here, but we're not going to get too complicated with that. Alright, um, so that's basically it. That's how you place objects and whatnot. Um, of course, you could get more fancy with 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 these things, um, with vehicle placement, um, object placement, and ammo boxes and stuff. Uh, you can get more creative with it. But for now, this is where we're gonna leave the scene here. This is basically how you place uh, assets down, um, Hesco barriers, and objects like Hesco barriers, such as sandbags or something. Um, everything else, I believe, you could do on your own. Um, this is the basics, so we're not going to be going over every single object that you could place. Um, so yeah, other than that, stay tuned for part 4, and uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video.